the initial months of South Africa's lockdown, there was an increase in the levels of hunger. However, with the easing of lockdown restrictions, hunger has been reduced. But food insecurity and malnutrition remains a significant issue. To unpack this further, I am joined by my colleague, Gerbrand van Heerden, and I am Simba Jonas, your host for today from the Center for Risk Analysis. Hi, Harry. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Simpe. Thank you so much for having me. So could you please begin by speaking to us a little bit about the latest data from the NICDS on food and food insecurity and malnutrition? Yes. So the NIDS has released their second wave uh, coronavirus rapid mobile survey or the CRAM survey for short. And the latest report reflects changes in various indicators uh, between the periods of May and June and July and August. And one of the indicators that uh, the CRAM survey focused on was hunger. And uh, uh, one of the main findings is that uh, the proportion of households uh, um, where at least one person uh, went hungry declined from 22% to 16%. And the proportion of households where a child specifically went hungry declined from 15% to 11%. So overall, uh, in, in the period when uh, uh, lockdown restrictions were at their strictest, um, we saw a, a huge uh, or a drastic rise in the proportion of households reporting hunger. But as the lockdown uh, regulations were eased, we saw a reduction in the number of people going hungry. However, uh, hunger still remains a critical issue in this country. So the report also noted that yes, even though uh, the proportion of households uh, that went hungry declined, um, that proportion is still twice as much um, as the proportion recorded in 2016. There is also a urban rural divide in South Africa when it comes to the hunger crisis. Um, about 20% of households in rural areas reported hunger uh, compared to just 13% of households in metropolitan cities where you have better access to social relief programs and employment opportunities. So, so uh, one must be very cautious to think, uh, or one must be very cautious when analyzing the data from the CRAM survey, because yes, it does seem like uh, hunger is declining in the country, but in the rural parts of South Africa, it could actually be worsening. And I think just one last point uh, 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 on this, as, uh, uh, on, with regarding this question, is um, the proportion of children in South Africa um, that are experiencing stunted growth uh, is 27%. So that means about a quarter of our country's children uh, have an inappropriate uh, weight and height for someone their age, and that is because they're not getting enough food uh, or have a nutritional diet uh, for a healthy development. So, Gerbrand, what are the socioeconomic implications of a large proportion of South African households going without insufficient food? Going without food, like, you know, that's a huge problem, and that definitely leads to uh, stunted growth in, in young people. Uh, but it, the, the issue isn't just uh, 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 stunted growth in, in terms of physical growth, but it also um, uh, limits the, the development of a, child, of a, a child's um, cognitive, social, and emotional mm -hmm. development as well. And, and this is going to have long-term implications in his future, in his or her's future pro prospects, because 
um, when you are when your intellectual capacity is being negatively affected by hunger, uh, that's going to make it harder for you to uh, get uh, to to uh, finish school and and gain a, a better educational um, outcome. So this is going to affect your employment opportunities later on as an adult. The research that has been done by um, some of my colleagues here at the Center for Risk Analysis um, a few years ago has shown that about half of uh, children entering grade one, uh, uh, only half of those uh, make it to matric. And a large uh, uh, contributor to that is the fact that children are not getting enough food during that very critical early childhood development years. And then uh, uh, another problem is that um, uh, hunger in the household leads to a breakdown in um, uh, the household structure. As the Institute of Security Studies has noted in the past, um, households that experience hunger are twice as likely to, um, to have incidences of domestic violence compared to those when nobody goes hungry. So there are a broad, broader economic and uh, social implications to, to the malnutrition levels that we see in this country. So Gerbrand, what are some of the mitigating measures in place to deal with South Africa's food problem? And are these sufficient enough? The short answer is no, Simpe. Um, uh, these measures are not sufficient enough uh, yes, we have government initiatives, we have uh, private initiatives, and then we also have uh, the expansive social welfare system in the country. But uh, these measures are, are not enough to deal with the root causes of the crisis. Um, uh, and then I also need to just uh, elaborate and say that this isn't a, necessarily a food crisis in the country because South Africa actually uh, you know, is a net exporter of, of, uh, of many uh, food products. Uh, so there's plenty of food in this country. The, the problem is the access to, to these products. Uh, it's a, a, a issue about affordability as well. And this uh, is linked to employment levels and poverty and inequality in South Africa. Uh, now, how do we uh, address these issues? Well, firstly, you need to implement uh, necessary uh, labor reforms, which will require uh, uh, making labor more affordable, removing the national minimum wage, uh, other types of reforms, making it easier to establish a business. All of these steps that I just mentioned um, uh, will create an environment in uh, which uh, job opportunities are plentiful, and this will have a ripple on effect in getting people uh, uh, to to improve their living standards, and um, this the, this will then solve the 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 question about access to to food and uh, afford affordability when it comes to when it comes to food. Thank you very much, Harry, for for coming to the channel. That was very insightful. And as you carry on looking at this issue further, we look forward to hosting you on the channel. Thank you very much, Simpe.